Hello kids In the last video we learned the birth of the United Nations organization and main objectives of the United Nations Okay now we see main organs of United Nations main organs of the united nations the main organs of the un are generally assembly general assembly the security council the economic and the social council the secretariat and the trusteeships councils and the international court of the of justice general assembly the main organs of the un are general assembly security council economic and social council the secretariat and the trusteeship council and the international court of justice first we are see general assembly the general assembly is the main policy making and the general assembly is the main policy making and the representative organ of the united nations all the 193 members of the un are represented in general assembly every member country has one vote and puts forth its view idea and opinions it meets once a year to make important decisions and make a recommendations to the member countries the general assembly handles important issues such as peace and security admissions of new members and granting the financial help to the nations the general assembly session in progress it is the general assembly session in progress the general assembly is the main policy making and representative organ of the united nations general assembly is the main policy making and the representative organs organ of the united nation all the 193 member of the united nation are present in general assembly all 193 members of the united nation are presented in the general assembly every member country has one vote and puts forth its view idea and opinion every member country has one vote and puts forth its view idea and opinions it meets once a year to take a important decision in general assembly it meets a once a year to make a important decisions and to make a recommendations to the member countries the general assembly handles important issues such as a peace security admissions of a new members and granting financial help to the nation the general assembly handles the important issues such as the security peace admissions of new members granting financial help to the nation understood no kids what is the function what is the work of the general assembly next we see security council security council the security council has the primary responsibility of maintaining the international peace of and security it intervenes between two warring countries to avoid a war like a situation the security council is the made up of 15th members 15 members of which five are permanent members britain china france 
ருசியா ரஷ்யா அண்ட் தி யுஎஸ்ஏ அதர் தென் டென் மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆர் நான் பர்மனண்ட் அண்ட் ஆர் எலெக்டட் பை தி ஜெனரல் அசம்பிளி ஃபார் அ டூ இயர் டர்ம்ஸ் செக்யூரிட்டி கவுன்சில் ஹேஸ் பிரைமரி அஸ் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிலிட்டி ஆஃப் மெயின்டெனிங் இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் பீஸ் அண்ட் செக்யூரிட்டி இட் இன்டர்வின்ஸ் பிட்வீன் டூ வாரிங் கண்ட்ரீஸ் டு அவாய்ட் த வார் லைக் சுச்சுவேஷன் the security council is made up of 15 members one five 15 members of which five are in that 15 members five are permanent members and 10 are non permanent members permanent members are from britain china france russia and usa these countries members are permanent and other 10 members are non permanent they are elected by the general assembly they are elected by 10 members of security councils they are elected by general assembly for a two years term in security council five are permanent and 10 are non permanent and they are that 10 members other 10 members are elected by gen- by the general assembly for a term of Two years, two years then. Next, turn the page. The Economic and the Social Council. The Council works towards the social and economic progress and develop at a worldwide level. level. It ideal with a issue such as a hunger, poverty, illiteracy, famine, etc. the economic and social council works hand in hand with the other bodies of the uno such as the world bank wb and the international monetary fund imf for economic issues the economic and social council the council works towards the social and economic progress economic progress development at world wide world wide level the economic and social council works towards social and economic progress and development at a world wide level it deals with the issues such as hunger poverty illiteracy famine etc The Economic and Social Council works hand in hand with the other bodies of the UNO such as World Bank International Monetary Fund for economic issues Understood now what is the function of the Economic and Social Council Next Secretariat Secretariat It is also one of important organ of the UN United Nations and handles are mainly its uh, administrative work. It is the headed by the secretary general appointed by the general assembly. Ban Ki-moon is the president secretary general of the UN. Secretary Secretariat is one of the important organs of the United Nations and handles mainly its administrative works. Secretariat is one of the important organs of the United Nations and it's a mainly it's a administrative work. it headed by the secretary general appointed by the general assembly ban ki moon is the ban ki moon is the secretary general of united nation who is the secretary general of the united nations ban ki moon present ban ki moon is the present secretary general of the united nation 
now we'll see major agencies of the united nations the united nations operates through a different agencies these agencies primarily works towards the social and economic development of developing nations major agencies of united nations operate through different agencies these agencies primarily works towards the social and economic development of developing nations some of these agencies are major agencies of united nations some of the agencies are un ic ef unicef un ic ef unicef the united nations international children's emergency fund was established in 1946 unicef unicef stands for u means united n means nations i means international c means children's e means emergency f means fund unicef was established in 1946 it works towards a uh, meeting the food health and educational needs of children and women in developing countries unicef was established in 1946 it works towards a uh, meeting the food health educational needs of children and women in the developing countries unicef works towards uh, meeting the food health educational needs of children and women in the developing countries understood my kids what is the work of unicef now next one next one agency is who who means world health organization who stands for world w means world h means health o means organization who stand established on 7th april 1948 the world health organization works towards the fighting various diseases and improvement of health sanitation facilities the who was instrumental in eradicating small fox and is the actively working towards the same of same for diseases such as a polio malaria and the tuberculosis in many developing countries world health organization established on 7th april in on 1948 it works towards a fighting various diseases and the improvement of health sanitation facilities the who was instrumental in eradicating smallpox and is the actively working towards the same for diseases such as a polio malaria tuberculosis etc in the developing countries understood my kids what is the function of what is the work of who world health organizations next agency is fao FAO means Food and Agricultural Organization. FAO for Food and Agriculture Organization is the agency of the UNO, established in October nineteen forty five. It works towards the improving agricultural productivity and food production and distributions. F means food, A means agriculture, O means organization. Food and Agricultural Organization is agency is an agency of UNO, and is and it was established in October nineteen forty five. It works towards the improving agricultural productivity, food production and distribution. understood my kids what is the work of fao 
Next one agency is UNESCO. U N E S C O. The U N E S C O means United. U means United. N means Nations. E means Educational. S means Social. C means Cultural. O means Organization. UNESCO works largely towards the establishing peace and sustainable development across the world. For this, it conducts a major programs in cultural exchange, communications, education, and so on. The UNESCO headquarters are in Paris and France. UNESCO it works largely towards the establishing peace and sustainable development across the world. For this, it conducts major programs in cultural exchange, communication, education and so on. The UNESCO headquarters are in Paris and France. Understood no kids? What is UNESCO and what its work towards the country? It established peace and sustainable development across the world. Next agency is ELO means ILO. The International Labour Organization works towards the providing better stands and fair working conditions for a people all over the world. International Labour Organization means ILO. It works towards providing better standard and fair working conditions for all people all over the world. This organization works towards providing better conditions and fair working conditions for people all over the world. Now last one, it's over, ILO, first one is UNICEF, WHO, WHO, FAO, UNESCO and ILO. These are the major agencies of United Nations. It is the last agencies. Here five agencies are given. First one is the UNICEF, UN, ICA, CEF, WHO, FAO, UNESCO means UNESCO, ILO. It is the over. Now we will see India's role in the United Nations Organization. What is the role of India's in UNO? India has been a member state of the United Nations Organization right since its uh, in, in inception. It has supported the UNO peacekeeping force on different mi missions to Sri Lanka, Korea, Indochina, DRC, Jair, etc. The United Nations Organization Agencies works work hand in hand with the government of India to achieve common goal of active progress and development. In a humane way, UNICEF supports the government of India's Sarva Shiksha Abhiyana to ensure the greater access to education, enrollment and improved learning outcomes for the most marginalized groups of children. India has been receiving a valuable assistance from the UNO bodies like the World Bank, Food, Agriculture Organization and the World Health Organization. India's role in the UNO. India has been a member, member state of United India's role in the UNO 
India has been a member state of United Nations organization right since its inception. It has supported the UNO peacekeeping peacekeeping force on different missions to Sri Lanka, Korea, Indochina, DRC Minjaya, etc. The United Nations Organization Agencies works hand in hand with the government of India to achieve the common goal of active progress and development in a human way. UNICEF supports the government of India. India's government of India's Sarva Shiksha Abhiyana to ensure the great access to education, enrollment and the improve, improve the learning outcomes for the most marginalized groups of children. India has been receiving a valuable assist, assistance from the UNO bodies like a World Bank, Food, Agriculture, Organization. India has been receiving a valuable assistance from the UNO bodies like World Bank, Food and Agriculture Organization and the World Health Organization. Understood no kids? What is the function of India's role? India's role in the UNO. What is the India's role in United Nations Organization? Understood no? Okay, here our lesson over today's your homework is read the lesson carefully, learn the all words by head that one and write down in your notebook. Thank you for watching the video.